taking on a unique direction for werewolf films in the 80s through a dark and twisted fairy tale style. The Company of Wolves tells the story of a young girl learning about growing up and the world around her as well as the dangers lurking within it. So without further ado, these are some things you didn't know about The Company of Wolves. Now, as then, tis simple truth, sweetest tongue has sharpest tooth. Aside from scenes involving the exteriors of Rosaline's family house, at the start of the movie, the church and wedding, all other scenes were shot on a stage in Shepperton Studios. Anton First stated that both Salvador Dali and Gustave Doré were influences on his work for the movie. The scene of Rosaline climbing the tree and scaring away a stork was achieved by putting a doll in a bonsai tree. More bonsai trees were placed around it and a painted backdrop was used. The stork itself was stop motion. If you look closely during the scene where the devil has an exchange with the boy in the woods, Terence Stomp is holding a small skull. According to Jordan, it was a real pygmy skull. People have a bit of a theory as to why Granny's head flies off and shatters when the huntsman swings at her. It may represent Granny's empty-headed and tenuous nature. A large majority of the wolves that we see are actually Belgian shepherd dogs with dyed fur. This was because of safety concerns as well as budget. Technically, there are only two wolves who were used, one of which appeared during the scene where Rosaline tells the huntsman a story. The warning at the end of the film is from La Petite Chaperon Rouge by Charles Perrault, which was the original Little Red Riding Hood. The Bloody Chamber by Angela Carter was the primary inspiration for the film with short stories in the collection, such as Wolf Alice, The Werewolf, and The Company of Wolves playing key parts. Though the 1980 radio adaptation of The Company of Wolves is closer to the movie than the short story itself. Apparently, The Pit and the Pendulum, 1961, The Tomb of Lygia, 1964, The Mask of the Red Death, 1964, and The Saragossa Manuscript, 1965, were all inspirations for the film, especially the Saragossa Manuscript, as it has a similar structure to The Company of Wolves, the Chinese box structure, as Jordan calls it. Some scenes in Carter's first screenplay didn't get filmed, such as a church congregation composed of animals, the huntsman telling Rosaline a story, a different story that Rosaline tells the now wolf huntsman, and Rosaline diving into her bedroom floor, which swallowed her up at the end of the movie. Given the production's small budget of $2 million, things had to be cut or rewritten. Due to finances, the production could only afford 12 trees. There were no auditions for the role of Granny. Diana Dorse had been briefly considered for the part, but she reluctantly turned it down as she was battling cancer. Neil Jordan then offered it to Angela Lansbury, due to her performance in The Manchurian Candidate 1962. Susie Figgis, who is the casting director, had been searching for 16-year-old girls for Rosaline. This was due to the sexual nature of many of the elements of the story. When Sarah Patterson auditioned for the role, Neil Jordan decided that she was perfect for the part. Despite being 12, Jordan rewrote portions of the script to adapt to this. Originally, Mika Berges was hired to be the choreographer, specifically to help with whoever would take the role of the Huntsman. However, Neil Jordan liked how Berges grasped the themes of the script as well as his appearance and movement, so much that he offered the Huntsman role to him. Due to how unpredictable and untamable wolves are, snipers were hired to be on set in the event that anyone was attacked. At some point during the filming, Stephen Woolley had told one of the snipers, shoot the wolf first then shoot me, because my life won't be worth living if the wolf goes for the young kid. Originally, the devil was supposed to be played by Andy Warhol, but this didn't happen due to Warhol having recently been shot and not wanting to travel for the filming. Thus, Terrence Stomp was cast with the requirement that Neil Jordan bought him a suit. When the scene of the wolf trap was shot, both a real duck and wolf were used. The problem was, when the wolf approached the hole in the ground, the duck quacked and scared the wolf away, who then refused to go near the hole again, so another wolf was brought in the next day. You could say that her part in the company of wolves occupied Angela Lansbury, while she waited to move forward with the pilot of Murder, She Wrote, 1984. It took a total of nine weeks to film. Anton First's work on production design impressed a lot of people, including Stanley Kubrick, who hired First for Full Metal Jacket 1987. Neil Jordan did end up naming his production company after the film. 
This was the second werewolf film to be released in 1984. The first was Monster Dog, and I think we all know how that went. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like to let me know. See you later.